hey guys welcome to gardening upbeat and in today's video we are going to take a look at a new method of growing diphenbachia from cuttings diphenbachia is usually grown as indoor plant and it's a low maintenance plant by following today's method you would be able to grow many plants at your home let's take a look at the procedure step by step step number one here i have collected two stems please note that Spring and summer is the best time to propagate and you would get result much faster. Step number 2. Making few pieces. 1.5 to almost 2 inches longer. Again, note that Diphenbachia is toxic to skin and pets. So please be careful and use gloves if needed. Step number 3. Taking a cello pot and for the medium using only coco peat. My coco peat is already wet as you can see. Instead of coco peat we can also use sand. Step number 4. Keep the stems horizontally as you can see on this footage. Step number 5. Cover all of them and make sure that the stems stay around 5 to 10 mm deep. Step number 6. If your medium is dry, please water thoroughly. As my cocoa peat is already wet, not going to water. Next, keep the pot only under indirect sunlight and wait for the result. So guys here I am after 65 days. The time is going to depend on the time you propagate and also in the environment in your place. Mine took some more time as I did everything in February. Here you can see that they are starting to grow really well. So instead of just two plants by making small pieces we got many more plants. During all these days I used to water like once in 4 to 5 days. Or we can also say that I used to water when I found that top layer of the coco peat is dry. Let's take a look at the roots very quickly. All are looking really good as you can see. Plus all are also successful. Though the last time is yet to sprout, it also produced the roots as you can see. Next I am going to plant all of them in other pot. Long back I already shared two ways to propagate Diphenbachia. One in water and other one is in soil. But some of my viewers said me that their stems got rotten when they tried in the soil. If same thing happened with you, you can try this new method and I hope it's also going to work for you. Like Diphenbachia, we can also propagate money plants or potos by many ways. For example, in one of my previous video, I have shown 5 different ways to propagate money plant. In case you are interested in knowing more, please do check out the next video. So that's the new method I wanted to share with you and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.